Welcome back, everyone, to round six of the Zero K 2020 August 1v1 tournament. I remain your host, Dominic, or Shadow Fury, whichever you prefer. And we are into the, well, one of the last matches. It's going to be Google Frog and Kshatria. And this match is going to be interesting because Google Frog and Kshatria are both strong players. They're currently second and third in the standings, Thomas being number one. And might be able to watch Thomas Nanakit as well. But yeah, for now, just getting into this on Shimmer Shore. An old hat water map, which we haven't seen a lot of recently, but... Well, we are going to see a lot of now. Tournaments tournaments are like that sometimes. I sometimes I mean all the time, because... It's just a good time to have a bunch of different maps, especially a Swiss tournament, where one round doesn't make the biggest difference. Although, admittedly, this round six is going to be a bit of a decider as far as who plays what tiebreakers. Because again, whoever wins this, if Thomas loses their match, whoever wins this wins the tournament, but then second place is like a four-way tie. And if Thomas loses their match, sorry, if Thomas wins their match, then it's going to be a tiebreaker for first place and then another tiebreaker for second place. But I figure Google Frog and Chat is going to be much more entertaining. Like, Thomas and Anarchy could be entertaining as well, but I really want to see... Honestly, I want to see how Google Frog handles the C, because Google Frog is a strong C player. Also, new 100 model. Haven't had a chance to really show this off on stream yet. It's been here for a while, I just haven't been able to showcase it. Looks really nice. Very sleek. I like it. Anyhow... Google Frog with a cutter just to scout out a little bit. Shatcher coming around the side with the hunters. Might be able to find something. Man, that does look good. Sorry, I'm just blown away, but I haven't really seen a lot of sea play, so hunters haven't really seen a lot of me. I haven't seen a lot of them. But they look really nice. Anyhow, hunters coming over to Google Frog's base to do a little bit of harassment. And deciding against it because Google Frog's commander is above water and will be able to completely wreck their faces. Wise choice. Same time though, Google Frog trying to come in here with their cutter. Getting some damage done. There's the hunter coming in. Ooh. That looks really cool. A little torpedo drop. Uh, hunter coming in here, taking out the mariner. Nice kill coming in here from Kshatriya. Fortunately, losing that hunter to an urchin. Second hunter able to come through, but will be taken out by its counterpart on Google Frog's side. Kshatriya's little raiding experiment has failed. Well, it succeeded, but it didn't do a huge amount of damage. It did get rid of a Mariner, though, and that is what counts. Second Mariner coming in to try to make up for the loss. But another hunter, or sorry, another cutter already in position. Same time though, Google Frog on the counter raid. Coming in with hunters to get rid of this Mariner and will be able to. There's the drop for the torpedoes. Ooh, not quite. Getting saved. Shatcher coming with their own hunters. And it won't be quite enough. Google Frog able to get through. Gets even matched 2v2 hunters. But Google Frog with the reinforcements. Shatcher, on the other hand. Focusing a bit more on getting their economy back up. And getting a ship plate as well. This is the first plate I have seen on stream. Oh, shoot, is there no sound? There's no sound. Really? That's weird. Okay, that... That's weird. I don't understand. I... Okay, how about now? OBS is saying the sound's coming through, so I don't understand why it's not coming through on your end. Okay, people are saying there's no game sound. I can hear game sound, and OBS is telling me game sound is a thing. Oh. Is quiet. Okay. Oh, is that all it is? Sorry, I just don't want the game sound overpowering my voice. But alright. Maybe this will work better. 
All right, anyway, back to the game. Hopefully that will fix the issues people were having as Google Frog comes in and starts ripping apart all of Kshatri's economy. Kshatri with a couple of urchins just to try to hold the line a little bit. Not a bad choice. But Google Frog currently enjoying a fairly nice metal economy, though Kshatriya, with some reclaim, able to hold the line. Unfortunately, they don't quite have the energy economy to make it work, but I do like the fact that they're using plates. As I was saying before I noticed the sound stuff, the factory plates. Factory plate! We're actually seeing a factory plate coming in here first time in this tournament on stream. And I'm liking it. Sorry, I just really like the plate system, so I'm glad that Kshatriya is using it. Corsairs and Hunters coming through here, and unfortunately, not really enough. Or not in the right position, rather. There's there are enough units, they're just not where they need to be. They're over, they're out raiding rather than, you know, defending the raid coming in from Google Frog as Kshatra's economy is getting significantly weaker as a result. Which is unfortunate, but yeah, that's how it can go sometimes. Ooh, and the sea wolves coming in here. Perfect counter to the Corsairs. Yep, that is going to be a sea wolf. Slow torpedoes. I mean, the Corsair can't even fire into water, and the sea wolves, the slow torpedoes, just making it even harder for the Corsair to get out of there. So the raiding has been stopped, but Kshatriya lost a lot of metal in the process. A lot of their income was removed. They will be able to rebuild. Google Frog is running at quite the advantage economically. They're running at a major attrition advantage. And they have hunters, though, admittedly. Sorry, Sea Wolves, but admittedly, the hunters are able to counter that. Well, they were. Now they're dead. Yeah, there's not a whole lot here to counter this. Oh, yeah. Did you not see the Twitch fetch? Yes, I do put the. I put it in two minute delays, so yeah. It'll be fine. But yeah, these are fact plates. So, this is a new addition in this patch. Basically, you can build a factory next to another factory, and you'll get this 150 metal plate, which is like a small version of the factory, which will produce the same units. It just has to be near the initial factory, but the point is, is that you can now have parallel construction for relatively cheap. Or you can build caretakers and use that for serial construction. So you get the choice, and it's a nice choosy choice. Of course, it hasn't really helped Shatri because they didn't have a strong economy to work with. And have just lost their commander and thus their storage. But it was really, it's nice to see. I just, you know, it would be nice to see it when they have a stronger economy to work with. Google Frog, on the other hand, going for the classic caretaker approach, serial construction. Yeah, there are advantages to the plates. The main one being you can build heavy units and light units at the same time. So you can kind of support your own army while building up a heavy unit. But we didn't really get to that point here. Otherwise, it's about the same. I mean, it's if you're not getting directly attacked, it's roughly equivalent. Because, I mean, you know, you're, you're spending as much metal on the units as you would otherwise. You're just... Each individual unit isn't coming out faster. But otherwise, it's not... A, I don't know. There, there are differences where it makes a difference, and I like it, and it's certainly one of those things that is going to help adoption of the game. But Google Frog still took it, playing the classic way. So, yeah, I imagine we'll see situations where it's better, but I think it's going to largely come down to preference, or some situational situations. Again, I could see it for, like, amph bots, I could see it for tanks, I foresee I could see it later in the game, like building an envoy while still setting up hunters and cutters. But in this case, we didn't see enough of an economy to actually see it make a difference. It wasn't what lost Kshatriya the game. That was just good raiding on Google Frog's part. And Kshatriya losing a few units here and there. But anyway, Google Frog taking that. So let's move on to the other match that's going to matter a great deal here. Oh, wait. Oh, it finished. Okay! I think, I think we might, really? We've done Thomas and Anarchid? Okay, well that's, that's a thing. Hmm. Huh. 
Okay, so... Anarchy... Yeah. We have a five-way tiebreak for second place. Google Frog won the tournament, though. But we have a five-way tiebreak for second place. We might have to go to, a, like, double a limb or something for second place. I'm not sure what's gonna happen with this. But yes, there is a five-way tie for second place. At this point. Wait, where's the... No, not... What? There we go. That's what I want. Oh, if you... Okay, thanks, FFC. Pointing out in chat that the pad system is... Or the plate system is great for glaive swarms. Yes, it is. And yeah, I, I do agree with the economical element. So, okay, so Forever's pointing out that they might be stronger than Caretakers because they have parallel unit production. I think it's situational. I think if you're really trying to spit out heavy units, you want to use Caretakers. If you're trying to have the protection you want to... Like, if you have a tempo advantage, the Caretakers make a bit more sense for a big unit. If you're falling behind, it can be better. Like, if you're getting attacked directly, it can be a bit better. But I think it's probably what we're going to see is a couple of Caretakers and a couple of Plates will be typical because that way you can kind of decide how you want to allocate resources as the game goes on so there'll be situations where you want to have the few units being built in parallel or the weak units being built in parallel and other situations where you want to have the stronger unit being having like 50 metal per second poured into it Okay, Thomas is forfeited, so now we have a four-way tie break. For second place. I unfortunately can't meaningfully refresh the standings until everything is is entered in. Or actually when I can, because Yeah, it's not gonna be complete standings, but the top top standings are gonna be accurate. So we have a three-way tie. No, a two-way tie. Okay, shout your nanner kid. Wait, is Izzeride... No, Izzeride's not done yet, are they? No, they're not. No, the winner of Izzeride and Saniac is going to be in this as, as well. So I'm not sure how this is going to work. Oftentimes what ends up happening is we get effectively a double a limb tournament with four players. Or maybe a single limb tournament with four players, not quite sure. We get a small bracket stage sometimes. We, it's it, We'll see. I'm not 100% sure how this is going to play out because this is... a lot. So my guess is we'll have a couple people, a couple pairs on Altair Crossing, and then whoever, the winners of those, go to Random Crags. <laughs> Four-way, perfect for sandcastles! No, we've already, it's already set up. It's... The first, it's going to be Altair Crossing, which, again, will probably be two matches on Altair Crossing in parallel, and then random crags for the winner of those, I'm guessing. So, it comes down to Izrai and Saniac. And Nemor. Nemor just put themselves up for that. So, Thomas has forfeited. Meaning we have Kshatra, Anarchid, Nemor, and the winner of Izrai and Saniac. Who will be in a, basically a single limb bracket for second place. And yes, it is large time not part of Google Frog. You have won. This is a large second place tie. It's a four-way tie for second. Not entirely sure why. Technically also a four-way tie for third, but basically whoever loses the final will get third. <laughs> So it'll be, like, a single limb bracket, the winner gets second, the loser of the final gets third, and we don't have to have a third place match for 
fourth, I guess. Are there prizes for the second and third? I don't I don't know if there's prizes besides I guess you get a little medal and stuff like that, so not it's not nothing. Well anyway, I'm gonna just <laughs> We'll get to tie breaks. I was just chatting about the whole thing with the with the fact plates, which are pretty cool. But yeah, we'll get to tie breaks and then see you in a minute. 